Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model S Plaid spotted, being benchmarked by General Motors. Tesla to gain edge, as NHTSA increases fines for fuel economy standard violations. UAW president reveals, he has yet to talk to Elon Musk about Tesla's possible union vote. And, Tesla begins Giga Berlin Model Y performance deliveries in Germany and Denmark. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The Tesla Model S Plaid has been spotted being benchmarked by General Motors. This suggests that the veteran American automaker is getting pretty serious in its modern electric vehicle program. GM's rollout of its modern electric vehicles has been quite deliberate, with the company only selling 26 battery electric cars in the fourth quarter of 2021. Yet the company has plans to launch 30 new EV models by the 2025 calendar year. Achieving such a goal would require GM to put the pedal to the metal in its efforts to develop and release its modern electric vehicle lineup. It is then quite unsurprising to see the veteran automaker benchmarking the Tesla Model S Plaid as part of its EV efforts. GM, after all, would have to contend with the Model S Plaid at the top end of the EV segment. Images of the flagship Tesla sedan, as it was being benchmarked by GM, were shared by motoring outlet, GM Authority. The Model S Plaid is Tesla's fastest vehicle, with its three electric motors and all-wheel drive setup that produces 1,020 horsepower straight out of the factory. This is enough to launch the premium electric sedan from 0 to 60 in less than two seconds under optimum drag strip conditions. But even without this, the Model S Plaid is still capable of completing the quarter mile in less than 10 seconds, faster than actual supercars. GM has not announced its rival to the Tesla Model S Plaid, though speculations are high that the veteran automaker would likely utilize its Cadillac brand as a way to rival the leading American electric vehicle maker. Among Cadillac's potential rivals to the Model S Plaid may be the Celestic, which is expected to be an ultra-luxurious all-electric sedan that shares some styling cues from the Lyric, which would be competing with the Tesla Model Y. Similar to the Lyric, the Celestic is expected to feature hidden headlights and two large intakes in front. The vehicle's interior is expected to be luxurious, with handcrafted materials and a glass roof that features programmable transparency. According to Cadillac, the Celestic's four-quadrant glass is among the unique ways the Celestic could provide a unique, individual experience for each of its passengers. Moving to the next update, UAW president reveals he has yet to talk to Elon Musk about Tesla's possible union vote. United Auto Workers President Trey Curry recently revealed that he is yet to speak to Elon Musk about the possibility of Tesla holding a union vote. The idea of Tesla's possible unionization came earlier this month after Musk invited the UAW to hold a vote at the company's California plant. I've actually not talked to Mr. Musk or any representative of Tesla, Curry said, while speaking at a roundtable discussion with the Automotive Press Association on Tuesday. Curry covered several topics during his discussion, including how the electric vehicle transition would affect the UAW in the near future. Curry also stated that if Elon Musk is serious about Tesla's potential unionization, the company should rehire a union activist who was terminated in the past and it must also stop attempting to overturn a ruling that it violated labor laws. Such actions, according to the UAW president, would be a good faith effort on Tesla's part. It would also demonstrate a commitment to the workers of the facility at Tesla's Fremont factory in California. The National Labor Relations Board has decided that the automaker violated labor laws when it terminated the employment of union activist Richard Ortiz, who was part of an organizing campaign called Fair Future at Tesla. The NLRB also took issue with a 2018 tweet from Elon Musk, which stated that while there is nothing stopping Tesla employees from voting union, it would result in the workers giving up their stock options. The NLRB ordered Musk to remove his offending tweet and rehire Ortiz, but the automaker is appealing the administrative court's decision. While Musk's stance on the UAW has been known for a while, 
The CEO did extend an olive branch to the union earlier this month. While responding to KISS member Gene Simmons, who was urging U.S. President Joe Biden to recognize Tesla's workers, despite them being non-union, Musk invited the UAW to hold a union vote at the Fremont factory. Musk even assured the UAW that Tesla would do nothing to stop their efforts. I'd like hereby to invite UAW to hold a union vote at their convenience. Tesla will do nothing to stop them, Musk wrote. Despite Musk's open invitation, the CEO recently took a shot at the UAW after Timothy Edmonds, a former union official at a suburban Detroit branch of the United Auto Workers, pleaded guilty to embezzling funds and money laundering. Prosecutors, who noted that Edmonds gambled away the money and spent some of the funds on guns, cars, and child support payments, highlighted that defendant is the 17th defendant that has been convicted in an ongoing criminal investigation into corruption within the UAW. In response to the news, Elon Musk noted on Twitter that the UAW should change its slogan. UAW slogan, fighting for the right to embezzle money from auto workers, Musk wrote, later adding, that the UAW stole millions from workers, whereas Tesla has made many workers millionaires. Subtle, but important difference. Moving to the next update, Tesla to gain edge as NHTSA increases fines for fuel economy standard violations. A recent decision from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, could very well provide Tesla with yet another edge in the auto sector. Recently, the NHTSA opted to implement a sharp increase in penalties for car makers whose offerings from the 2019 model year and beyond do not meet fuel efficiency standards. The NHTSA has noted that the decision increases the accountability of manufacturers for violating the nation's fuel economy standards. The agency further stated that the increased penalties incentivize vehicle manufacturers to make improvements in their product's fuel economy. The higher fines are expected to cost affected car makers hundreds of millions of dollars, but it could also benefit Tesla, the U.S. premier electric vehicle maker. During the final days of the Trump administration, the former U.S. president delayed a 2016 regulation that increased the penalties for automakers that do not meet the country's corporate average fuel economy CAFE requirements from the 2019 model year. The NHTSA's recent decision reinstated the higher fines and extended them for the 2022 model year. The NHTSA's top official, Stephen Cliff, signed the final rule on Thursday. The potential fines for non-complying automakers are substantial. For the 2019 to 2021 model years, the fine would be $14, up from $5.50, for every 0.1 mile per gallon that vehicles fall short of required fuel economy standards, multiplied by the number of non-complying vehicles that were sold. As per a Reuters report, the penalties would rise to $15 for the 2022 model year. But while the higher fines will likely cost non-complying carmakers a significant amount, it also benefits automakers, whose vehicles achieve higher fuel economy standards. These companies, such as Tesla, could then sell credits to automakers that do not meet regulations. Tesla, with its all-electric fleet, is among the automakers that have boosted itself with the sale of regulatory credits over the years. And while the company is now profitable, even without the sale of regulatory credits, the NHTSA's recent decision would likely make the company even more financially formidable. So far, Tesla has not issued a comment about the NHTSA's recent decision. The agency, however, estimated that for the 2019 model year, automakers would owe about $294 million with the updated rates. Under the prior rate, this amount would only be around $115.4 million. Moving to the last update, Tesla begins Giga Berlin Model Y performance deliveries in Germany and Denmark. Tesla has started deliveries of the Model Y performance made at Giga Berlin in both Germany and Denmark. The deliveries are taking place one week after CEO Elon Musk personally handed over the first 30 Model Ys made in Germany at a special event last week. In Germany, the first Model Ys were spotted being offloaded from a transport carrier in Mannheim. According to reports, several car carriers had arrived recently, 
all of them loaded with black Model Y performance cars. Twitter user Samuel also shared up close photos and video of one of the newly built cars, which you can see here, showing impressive build quality for the first few cars off the production line of a brand new factory. The first deliveries outside of Germany are also happening in Denmark. According to Best and Tesla, the automaker held a special event recently in the city of Aarhus to deliver the first five Model Y performance SUVs, again all finished in black. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.